Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. Um, I just posted a video about ant antenna tilting and how that may help with your range. And when I did my example of the antenna pattern, I used the example in the PDF file, but that's when the antenna's on the ground. The pattern's going to be different when it's in the air. Now I'm going to show you something here, some free modeling, antenna modeling software. I'll post a link down below. Uh, it's totally free. I don't, I'm still learning the ins and outs on this. So uh, I may do something wrong because I'm just, like I said, I'm just learning this. I got some of it kind of figured out, but I'm going to show you what I know to kind of get you started. So. When you install this software, there's going to be four tabs up here. Geometry, View, Calculate, Far Field, Plots. We're going to go to Geometry. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the frequency. We're going to go 462.625. Okay. Why that frequency? That's the frequency I use on my radios. And that's what I have memorized. So that's the reason why I'm picking that frequency. Of course, you can enter in your frequency whichever one that may be. Next thing we got to do, we're going to go to view and we are going to, we need the length of Z, which is the antenna being vertical. All right, kind of this ahead of time so I know what to enter for the most part. You can go to another website and use the quarter wave antenna calculator to give you your numbers uh, in either meters feet, inches, whatever. This software goes by meters. So make sure that you convert it to meters. So we go back to geometry. I'm going to enter in meters my length 0.15. Hit enter. Don't click with the mouse. You got to literally hit enter. If you don't see it, do this and you didn't hit enter. So now we got to go back to view. Now you see how that became a solid line. Move this down again. Now we got to tell it where does our coax cable hook up. Does it hook up on the top? Does it hook up in the middle? Does it hook up at the beginning? Um, it's not the center of the wire. Beginning of the wire. I don't know why they say not recommended. I'm not sure about that. But that's, this is what this is what I select. Uh, I'm sure someone will say something in the comments about the reason for that. But nevertheless, we hit the beginning of the wire. Let's move this down. Now we told what feed point it is. Now we gotta go to calculate. Now we want uh, we want to set this to zero. I'll explain that in a minute. Now we want to select what type of wire, copper wire, we're going to be using. Okay. Now this is where it gets kind of interesting. This is where you can see your pattern. There is ground, underground, free space, perfect, real. When you hit real, this little box comes up. And this is where you would enter in your soil dielectric. If you want to get real fancy here, real technical, you can enter all that in. For the most part, you leave at the default setting. Uh, I suppose if you live in a salty area, maybe perhaps then the settings should be changed. I do not know. But leave it at the default setting. I'm going to leave it in real, meaning my antenna is on the ground. It's on the ground. If I did this right, I should see the same pattern in that PDF file that I used in a couple of my videos, antenna building videos. So, see if I did this right. Add antenna height, we're going to leave at zero. Now, you can't see it, and I apologize. My screen record is cutting it off. But below my cursor right here, there is a button that says start. We're going to uh, click on that. Now, it calculated everything, as you can see, and my SWRs is 1.6. Tell it 
tells you about the uh, 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 DBI of the antenna. It's a vertical antenna. There's no antenna height. We're using the real ground, meaning the antenna's on the ground. And that's our settings. Now, if we go to far field plots, there's our pattern. That pattern looks familiar. Let's check it. So let's go to that PDF file that we've used right here. I'll post a link to this. I'll post a link to the software and you guys can play with it. Okay. Elevation. Look at that. That looks like to be, looks like I must have entered the software correctly. I'm getting the same pattern. So it looks like, okay, that looks to be right. So there you have it. Pretty, pretty close. Now, if you go back to calculate, there is a spot here you can add antenna height. I'm not sure how to do that part yet. I've been playing with it, and when I do add it, like if I, now this is in meters, just to be mindful, it's in meters. If I add it, if I go to 5, and I hit start, which is, again, off the screen, below, below my mouse cursor, I hit start. It comes up with a weird SWR, so I probably got a setting wrong somewhere. I, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. If I go to field plots, you can see the pattern really changes. So, like I said, I, I must got something wrong. Free space means, if I go back to zero, free space means when the antenna is off the ground. Well, okay, if I hit start to recalculate. My SWRs is still not, if it's way out of whack. If I go to field, far field plots, you can see the pattern change. But, obviously, with the SWR being so high, that doesn't make sense. But the, I, I'm sure the pattern does change when you go higher with the antenna. I would like to see how, but I haven't figured that out yet. There's also perfect to let you add. When you go to free space, you cannot add antenna height. When you go to perfect, you can add antenna height. Let's put five meters in there. Let's hit start again. Now, my SWR is still way out of whack. So, and let's look at the pattern. Yeah, see? So, there, so there, there must be another setting I got to do. Let's go back to real. Let's go take this back off to put it zero. Let's hit start. Now I'm back to the 1.6. That sounds more reasonable. And my antenna pattern's back to normal. So I'm close. I just got to figure out how do I get it so I can add antenna height and see what the pattern's like. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. This will kind of get you in the starting point. Um, you know, like I say, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below. And please subscribe. And thank you and have a good day.